In 2019, 228 police officers died by suicide. 147 died in the line of duty. This is a pretty big difference. That would make the number one cop killer in America mental and health. When you experience or witness a trauma, your brain will take a little snapshot. Like even right now, we're taking a snapshot and you'll never forget this moment, or you might forget it unless you see a green wall somewhere. And then you're like, oh, I remember that one time. Okay, I like to call this the box. Erica Gaines is the creator of TAC Mobility, Controlling the Mind and the Machine, a class designed to help law enforcement officers manage stress and trauma through rehabilitative stretching and breathing, all through the belief that supporting the mental and physical health of officers will ultimately bring them closer to the communities they serve. We take snapshots of everything that we're a part of, and then when it comes to traumatic or stressful situations, depending on your level of experience or understanding of the world, your brain might go like, what was that? That's known as a trauma. That's how I define it. It's based on your level of surprise. So when I think about just the average police officer with all of their regular human problems and all of their regular stressors, and then I think about them doing these like very extraordinary jobs, like being exposed to unbelievable traumas that we can't even make up. It's mind blowing to me that anybody would think that you don't need to spend time recovering from something so intense.